Hi, I'm Anthony from Riverglide, and this is a short teaser for what to expect at Agile Development Practices in Orlando, Florida. On November the 8th, we'll be running a one-day tutorial called Sustainable Acceptance Test Driven Development, or Behavior Driven Development, with Cucumber. Whether you're about to use Cucumber, you've just started using it, or you've been using it for a while, there'll be a number of ideas in here we think you'll find useful when you get back to the office. Teams that use Cucumber for a while can sometimes encounter a number of challenges. Some of the ones we've seen include scenarios that are written at too low a level, so they're hard to understand or figure out what the intent is behind that particular scenario, brittle scenarios that break really easily, or when you want to reuse scenarios, trying to know exactly what you can and can't say uh, can be made difficult by complex regular expressions. Finding the steps you want to reuse can be difficult in large or hard to navigate step definition files. And when they're fragmented or broken up in ways that don't immediately make sense to someone new to the project or even to yourself when you come back to maintain it, uh, that can be a problem. Or slow tests that run solely through the GUI, taking a long time to give you the feedback that you're looking for. We're going to explore a number of ideas that help you address these challenges on your everyday projects. We're going to be using an extension to Cucumber called Cuke Salad during this tutorial, but the ideas that we'll explore and demonstrate through you actually writing scenarios using this particular extension uh, can be taken and used on regular Cucumber projects. Or if you wanted to try out the extension on your project, it runs quite happily alongside existing step definition files. So let's take a look at how the session is going to get started. We're going to give you a USB key with uh, VirtualBox installers for whichever your preferred operating system is. And a virtual machine that once you've installed VirtualBox, you can start up and get going with the project. Now, if you don't want to use the virtual machine and you have your own Ruby 192 development environment on your laptop, then that's fine. You can use that. There are a couple of GitHub repositories that you might want to clone in order to help you get started as quickly as everyone else, but you don't have to if you don't want to. We're going to take you through what you need to do step by step, starting from scratch. If you're using the virtual machine, everything's pre-packaged and pre-installed and ready to go. So here we go. So we've got uh, some examples on here already. During this tutorial, we're going to implement a very basic web-based calculator. There's only so much we can achieve in a day. We're going to see how far you guys can get. There's some reference material you can refer to. We've got some examples for a web-based calculator already implemented and already working for you. And if you want to see that your environment's working okay, um, once you have your virtual machine up and running, uh, we can just make sure that the web-based calculator we've implemented works correctly. Now this is actually running the acceptance test once through the application behind the GUI and then it's running it again going via a web browser front end. It's using exactly the same scenarios, exactly the same step definitions or the equivalent um, and there's just a, a subtle change to the support code behind the scenes that uh, it uses to either test below the GUI or test through the GUI. We're going to show you how to achieve that. There you go, everything's working. Let's take a look at one of the early examples that we might start working with. So you're gonna be working on your calculator in this blank project or a template project that uh, even has a place for you to start. So this is where you're gonna be writing your first Cucumber scenario during the session. And uh, if we want to see the reference materials. Alongside that are some examples. Let's take something simple like adding two numbers together. So here we go, here's the story. Uh, Callie wants to find out the sum of two numbers so she's not tired out by doing mental arithmetic all day. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run through a scenario where you can add these two numbers together. If you've used Cucumber before, or you've at least looked at it, then you'll know that that's normally matched using some regular expression pattern matching. 
to some code that's then executed as a result of that particular step. Uh, we're going to be using a slightly different approach with the Qt Salad extension. So instead of step definitions, we have tasks. And we're going to show you um, how easy it is to work with these. But you can take the same ideas and the same lessons of how these are organized and apply them to any Cucumber project. Let's take addition as an example. So this is the equivalent of a step definition. This is Ruby code that's executed against the application. And we're going to show you how to make it really easy to have your step definitions or your tasks, as we like to call them, uh, reading just as easily as this. That's just a brief intro. We look forward to seeing you in Orlando at Agile Development Practices on Tuesday the 8th of November. See you in Orlando.